storm tracker, early warning, radar network. And throughout the afternoon hours today, we've had a few high clouds streaming in from out of the west and southwest. No big deal. Really didn't slow muscle shoals down all that much. Still sitting at 80 here at the 5 o'clock update. Winds out of the south southwest at 15 miles per hour. Bit gusty out there. So if you are heading out for that evening stroll, seen some gusts around 30 miles per hour. But hey, at least they're from out of the southwest. That's our warm wind, not that north wind that we had in place yesterday. Walking dog this evening. Temperatures still in the upper 60s at 8 o'clock and falling to the low 60s around 11 o'clock this evening. So no concern at all of a damaging frost here tonight. We're going to see well above freezing. Most areas are going to stay well into the mid 50s for overnight lows. And for the kids out of the bus stop tomorrow morning, right around 57 degrees, around 7, 8 o'clock. Could be seeing a few stray showers, but most of the activity around 7, 8 o'clock is still off to our west. And then as the kids head home from school tomorrow, Scattered showers, even a few thunderstorms will be possible, but we're not expecting anything strong or severe. And highs tomorrow, they're going to be closer to 70. So the cloud cover tomorrow and those passing showers keep those temperatures down from what we saw this afternoon. So there's a look at future radar. It's around 9 o'clock here this evening. You'll notice a little bit more cloud cover moving in, but mostly clear skies. Then all the way through the overnight hours, right around 730, when we're in the peak of the morning commute, most of the rain still off to our west into northeastern parts of Mississippi. But this will be moving in, and a lot of this will be falling apart as it moves in. So mostly just a shower threat all the way through, let's say, lunchtime tomorrow. And really not expecting anything strong or severe in terms of thunderstorms. And then all the way into about the late afternoon hours, seeing a few thunderstorms trying to move in from out of the northwest. This is 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. No big deal. But then we go into this, and what's interesting about this, this is something that we typically see in the month of May and into June and July. These are those big storm complexes that move in from out of Missouri and then drop to the southeast right through North Alabama. We'll have to watch this closely. At this point, this is one of the few models that actually shows this, but this would bring some gusty winds, some heavy rain, and of course, dangerous cloud of ground lightning. But this is the middle of the night, and most of this is wrapping up by the time we're in that morning commute on Tuesday. Still tracking some scattered showers on future radar through the late morning hours on Tuesday, and then drying out into your Tuesday afternoon. So still four Forecasting highs near 80 for your Tuesday. And of course, Tuesday evening, it's a big day. A home opener for the 2022 season for the Trash Pandas. Looks like we should be fine at this point all the way through your Tuesday evening. Not concerned at all about getting that game in. It's Wednesday evening that could become a problem for the Trash Pandas. And that's when we move into more of that severe threat. Over the next 24 hours on the map, you'll notice some greens. And that's indicating anywhere from about a tenth of an inch to a quarter of an inch. Some higher totals for areas further off to the northwest. Again, that's just through the next 24 hours hours. Then as we head through the next seven days, a lot of what you see on the map, this is for what we're expecting coming in uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and into Thursday. Those purples you see on the map, that's closer to about two inches of rain and then closer to about three inches of rain as you head near the shoals. This is that next severe threat. And again, that red that you see on the map, that is a three out of five severe risk. We are in that two out of five severe risk, but we're still three days out. So a lot can change between now and then. And there's a look at that next storm threat moving in by Wednesday evening. You'll notice all the yellow on the map indicating heavy rain from thunderstorms, but we should be done well before that morning commute on Thursday. And yeah, we'll be watching Toyota Field closely every single evening all the way through Sunday as we start that first home opener of the season.